Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video we're going to have a look at how we add a transition to a different color to all of these layers in one go and keep the timing of that transition perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is actually come up to our generators here. We're going to add the layer that we're going to transition to. So we'll scroll down, come to our solids here, and we're going to add a white layer. And when we add transitions, we always want to have a little bit of flexibility in where we can move that transition to. So we always need a little bit of overlap between our clips. Now, I've cut the clips where I want them to finish, but actually I'm going to extend these out just to give myself that little bit of extra flexibility when I do eventually add the transition, because I'm going to put these into a compound clip. So what a compound clip is basically a group of layers. So if I highlight all of these, I can go to File, New, and Compound Clip. Or option and G and that will now create a vertical compound clip so all those clips are wrapped into one and you can see that the clip is a little bit longer than I want it to be I want the fade to happen somewhere around here but this extra footage is going to mean that I can move where that transition is either the time with music um, so I have a little bit extra space to work with so if we double click on our compound clip you can see I've got that whole clip on the timeline here and some of you may have seen this compound clip set up before. To get back to our main timeline, I'm just going to hit the arrow at the top left here. And then I'm going to trim this down. So trim that down. And now I'm going to move this white layer back here. And simply because I haven't changed the default transitions, I can highlight the edit point here and do Command and T. And it's going to add a transition to all those layers all in one go. So let's play that back through. So you can see the timing is nice and perfect there. If we need to adjust the duration of our transition, we're doing that change to all of those clips at the same time. We're not going to have to go to multiple layers and modify those different transitions. We can also, because we have that extra space at the end of the clip, so if we double click into our compound clip here, you can see we have all this space where we can work with to kind of move our transition a little bit further along the timeline. We've got that nice flexibility within our edits. So I'm going to come back again. So you can see I can change where that transition is all the way up to here, where I see that red bar. So that means I've come to the end of my compound clip. So we can stretch this out, have a slower transition, make it shorter, have a nice snappy, quick transition, and we'll play this back one time. But using these compound clips can be a really nice way of simplifying your timeline, making adding these transitions um, really easy. And also, if we do need to replace the clip in here. So for instance, if I double click in here and come up to my video, I'm going to grab a different clip. We'll drop this onto the timeline and I'm going to move this up to the top here. So now I have another clip in there and you can see it's in the, the middle of my timeline here. I'm going to grab my transform tools and we'll just drop this down to the bottom here. So now, replacing that diving clip, I don't need to actually modify the transition in my timeline. I've got plenty of footage here to transition to, and you can see those transitions now remain in place, and the timing remains in place when I replace that video clip, which is a really nice way of being able to modify these kind of stacked and layers clips, so you're kind of organizing things in there. Hope this is a helpful way of looking at how you can use compound clips in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions, then do leave a comment below, otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.